All right, it is time again for our monthly series, Fitness 411. And since December can be the busiest and most food-filled time of the year, we wanted to get some tips to help you stay fit. So with me this morning is Chris Freitag, a board member at the American Council on Exercise, our partners in the Fitness 411 series. Chris is also a personal trainer, a group fitness instructor, and contributing editor for Prevention Magazine. Hey there, Chris, good to see you. Hey, good to be back again. And you've come at the right time. If there is any time, we need your help, my dear. This is it, the holidays, right? The holidays are that time of year where we tend to overeat. And really, there are a couple things that you can do. First of all, think moderation. Mm -hmm. It's not about deprivation, it's about smart choices. Secondly, plan ahead. Think about what's coming ahead. Think about what you're gonna eat. Maybe eat something before you go to a party so that you aren't starving. And lastly, it's not always what you're eating, it's how much you're eating. Portion control. Portion control. Hard to maintain portion control when that big Christmas dinner is coming up and all these <laughs> holiday feasts. So what can we do from a health point of view? Well, <laughs> that big Christmas dinner or holiday dinner, did you know that those meals can be anywhere from 1,000 to upwards of 3,500 calories? Are you serious? That is your whole daily intake of calories in one meal. So you have to, you have to be a little careful. First of all, try to substitute some of the more fattening type things. Now, you know, I always say a vegetable is no longer a vegetable if it's covered in marshmallows. You have not been in my house then, because we consider sweet potato casserole a vegetable. So, well, get the marshmallows <laughs> off your sweet potatoes and the candy toppings and go for a real sweet potato. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or substitute pumpkin pie for pecan pie, or, you know, because pumpkin pie has few less calories. Take the skin off of the meat and save yourself some calories. Maybe it's just reducing gravies and reducing sauces. And truly, if you've got that one thing that is your favorite, that candied sweet potato pie, yes, then eat a little bit of okay. it. It's okay. Don't deprive yourself completely, but you got to think moderation. And maybe you even take a break before you go back for seconds because sometimes your stomach will register full yeah. before you go back. That's true. That's happened to me before where I've said, okay, I'm going to go back in about 20 minutes. I don't even want it in right. 20 minutes because my stomach is like, you have had enough. <laughs> exactly. But that's my stomach. What about my body? What about exercising? Because you know we are so busy during the holidays and not to mention it's cold outside so we find any excuse not to get out there and exercise. How do we maintain that healthy balance between health and fitness and the holidays. Well, you know, and a lot of times people get that hibernating attitude. Yeah. But let me remind you that outdoor activities burn a lot of calories. Get out there in the snow and cold because snow shoveling, skiing, sledding, they can burn several hundred calories oh in gosh. just 30 minutes. So don't think of them as chores. Right. Think of them as fun. Um, second of all, think about morning exercise, especially during the holidays because the evenings become so crazy with shopping and hustle and bustle and families and parties. And a lot of times that word later turns into never. Yeah. <laughs> so get a little exercise in the morning to increase your energy. And you know, then again, get some sleep. It's always hard during the holidays. We become very sleep deprived. And when you're sleep deprived, your body looks for energy, typically through food. It is true, yeah, when you're tired, you do wanna end up eating. So what are some other tidbits that you can give us? And what about any misconceptions that we should clear up as we head into the holidays? Well, first of all, a lot of people think, well, I've ruined my diet today, so I might as well just slide through the holidays, right? That's me. Don't have yeah. that all or nothing attitude. Don't think just because one day you ate something wrong or you had a you know a very caloric day that the whole holiday season is ruined um, you know so moderation back to that word um, plan it plan your workouts plan your healthful activities just like you would a meeting put them into your calendar because that will keep you a little bit more accountable and enjoy everything around you don't just make food the focus of the holiday but think about your family think about the fun and the activities and um, It'll be a new year before you know it. Yeah, but then here's the other thing, and I wanted to circle back to this because what a lot of us tend to do, ding, 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 that would be me. If I know I'm having that big holiday meal, you know what, I won't even eat during the day. Well, that's a really good point that you make because so many people do starve themselves thinking, yes. oh, I'm going to this big party tonight. Yes. But what happens is when you're starving, you tend to overeat, and it's not good for your body. You want to keep that engine running all the time, so make sure you don't skip your breakfast and lunch. And maybe it's even eating something like an apple before you go to the party so you aren't starving. I'm just trying to marry an apple with grandma's sweet potato casserole. I don't know. I'll try. Get I'll the try. marshmallows okay. off all right, the casserole. All right, all right, I will try. Well, Chris, good to see you. Thank you. Good to see you as always. And happy holidays Thank to you, you and your family. You too. And if you want more information on exercise and to find some healthy holiday recipes, go to their website. It's acefitness.org and look for the Get Fit section.